Welcome to this conversation with the Morning Tea Marketing Misses, where the purpose is to offer valuable tips to business owners and sole traders to help improve online presence, communicate more effectively, and reach a larger audience. With me today are the same three people that are with me every time. <laughs> We have Narelle Gaddy. Narelle is an accessibility auditor and Kate Smith is a graphic designer for service and experience-based businesses. Kate's going to be sharing today on Vision Board, I think it is, which I'm looking forward to hearing. Jan Roach's business is BizConnect Web Design and she is very clever. She also has a second business called Over 50s Help. If you've been listening to past conversations you would have heard all about that business as well i'm janine bosper and i help people remove limiting beliefs and be able to step up to stand out we're going to hand it over to kate to share because our, our theme for this month is planning and i think that she's got some great ideas for us can't wait to hear it kate thanks janine yeah today i want to speak about vision boarding this is always a big part of my yearly planning. Um, I am a very visual person, as you might guess, from being a graphic designer. But the science shows that we're all very visual people. Um, even you, Narelle, yeah, even with limited yeah. vision, we do have um, a very big emotional connection to what we see. And when we're communicating with someone, it's been shown 80% of that is visual. So what you're saying is less important than what you're seeing and feeling from the person. It's coming through in actions and body language and these kind of things. And when we're talking about your business, your visuals for your business, 80% of it is what they see mm -hmm. rather than what you say. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't like what they see, they're probably not going to read what you're saying or listen to what you're saying anyway, because they've already skipped the next thing. Scroll, scroll, scroll. So yeah, visuals is very important to me and I think I'd like to hopefully impress upon everyone how important it can be to you as well. So there's lots of ways you can make a vision board. The important thing is that you put things there, that vision statement kind of imagery, as Janine spoke about last week, or it could be super specific. If you want to buy a specific kind of car, put that, put that car on there put that house on there, put, you know, whatever it is, if you want to start gardening, if that's just a goal for your life this year, put a picture of someone gardening. What this does is it activates a part of your brain. It's called the reticular activating system. And it's like a filter. The more you see something, the more you think it's important. And this is how branding works as well. This is why you need those like 20 touch points or something ridiculous before people want to work with you. They need to see you again and again and again and again. And then they go, oh, that's important. That's that's useful. That's reliable. That That is what I need. Seeing things over and over does something to your brain that makes you think this is important. I need to pay attention to this. So if you put your vision board, there's no point making one unless you put it somewhere you're going to see it. Put it somewhere where you're going to see it. And if you're embarrassed about something on it, because we all have big, hairy, ambitious goals that we're like, oh, people will think I'm crazy if I put that out in public. Mm -hmm. Mine is very personal. I put it behind my door in my bedroom so that if my, my door is open and somebody happens to see in, they're not going to see it because it's hidden behind the door because some mm -hmm. of those things are very personal and very um yeah scary and you know I I still have fear sometimes maybe I'm not going to achieve that so it is worrying for someone to see it but you need to have it somewhere where you'll see it because every day you're going to look at it and your brains go oh yes that's important and I mean the obvious one it's going to remind you that you've got to do it <laughs> because yeah. life gets in the way and we do all kinds of things and not the things that are important but if we're looking at something every day, it's due to remind us a little bit better than our own relying on our own brain to remind us what's important and what we need to achieve. Another thing that this does is it can actually improve the quality of your emotions. So if you're looking at something every day that makes you happy and your vision board should make you happy, by the way, if it doesn't, you've done it wrong. Scrap everything, <laughs> get rid of it, <laughs> start again. <laughs> you should look at it and go, like there might be a little bit of like, oh gosh, exciting, scary, 
but it should be like, ah, oh, this is amazing. This is what I want to do. It should make you stand up a bit straighter. It should go, yes, this is this is my life in 12 months, five years, whatever it is. So it will improve your emotional well-being to just look at that every day because you're being shown stimulus that is exciting to you and important to you. Um, I love that, Kate. I would never even <laughs> thought of that angle, but that just makes so much sense. It does. I've um, just been thinking about that. It's like, wow, that's the first time I've ever heard that or received that that's actually caused me a reaction. Oh, nice. In all these months. In thinking about, yeah, thanks, Kat. Um, In thinking about how my goals, like this is my life in 12 yes. time. That's what mm -hmm. I've heard. It's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wow, thanks. Yeah, thanks. it should make you excited. <laughs> Actually, when I'm doing briefs for branding, especially, I often ask my clients, okay, now get rid of all your limiting beliefs, all of the, all that might be hard and scary and whatever else. Tell me about your business in five years, your dream business, the one that everything is perfect and you have all the clients that you want and all the time that you want and all of the things that are going perfectly and tell it to me without any constraints. This is the dream. It doesn't have to be come to fruition, stop mm -hmm. putting pressure on it. Just tell me what that looks like so that I can get like, cause I want to hit, I want to hit the dream brand. I want the, the brand for the dream business, not, not today's business. I mean, it might be good, but it's going to get better. So we might as well design for the dream business and head towards that goal. So fun. yes, make sure your vision board excites you so that it will improve your emotions every day. And also you can change it. If you decide that, oh, this isn't making me happy anymore, it's actually not, um, it could be two reasons. It could be because you've decided that's too hard um, and that you won't achieve it. And then you need to look at something deeper underneath and work through what's limiting in you. And I feel like someone like Ginny might be good people to talk to about that. Mm -hmm. Or it could be that you no longer like that. You're allowed to change your vision. If you don't want that anymore, take it off, get a new one. And finally, I just want to talk about some easy ways to make a vision board because, you know, practicality comes into these things. I draw mine because I like to draw and that really solidifies it for me, this kind of act of putting pen to paper and making it exactly what I want. I can um, imagine me with I don't, you know, drawing, I don't. The, drawing the four-wheel drive that we <laughs> wanted last year, how that would look if I drew it. <laughs> <laughs> just put the Range Rover logo on it done yeah. oh yeah no it wouldn't have a Range Rover logo but yes it would <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, you can definitely try this even if you're a bad drawer it actually won't matter because it will probably bring you a bit of joy to see you your drawings mine aren't perfect I draw things and I go ah oh, that arm looks stupid but I still like it I can't draw um, a stick man <laughs> So another Stick another work. idea Stick other work. than drawing, Kate. <laughs> yeah, uh, a very easy one. We've all got access to computers. Go to Google, Google your dream holiday, Google your dream car, all of the things you want to do, the hobbies you want to do this year, the way you want to feel. Maybe just because that's a big one we never think about is how do you want to mm -hmm. feel this year? I want to feel good. So maybe mm -hmm. um, a photo of somebody looking really excited um put that on your vision board you can get all these things you can do it in paint powerpoint all these things work um there's probably great online tools actually uh i'd love to hear in the comments vision board creator if somebody googles that and finds something good please post it <laughs> put all your images in and then if you don't have a good printer maybe spring to go to like your local worldwide print or or um yeah, your local printer. They'll happily print out one or two for you. That'll be fine. But what you could do, oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. what you could do, okay, for those that don't know, I'm actually blind, what you could do with your vision board, if you do it on something like a PowerPoint or you could actually attach sound to it and put that as your sound and your vision board so when you go to log in, you've got your vision Ooh. board and you've got the sound. So for me... Okay, it'll be people talking Italian because I'm going to Italy this year and okay. France. But, Woo you know, there's, there's I love that, Narelle. It's just a different, put the audio with it. So when you're oh. hopping on a computer, you've got your audio. 
you've got your visual. I don't That's know how super to put the video with it, but I'm sure I could Google it and figure yeah. out. Yeah. And put the audio with the there's, visual. There's a way to do that. Array, I'm sure there is. Get, get Paula Burgett flattening a foot on the accelerator and just record <laughs> that. <laughs> Paula, if you're watching, we love you. <laughs> yeah. I I do I do have mine as my screensaver, Kate. So uh, every single time I turn on my computer, my vision board is in front of me with just all different images. But then I also have a a big travel goal for next year because a lot of the things for this year are sort of work related or winning the a unit on the on the Gold Coast is one that's a winning one that's a goal and keep putting that energy out there and or or they're things that are likely to be achieved whereas the the big holiday for next year it's not paid for I think for me that's, that's all I need to have something is paid for so it's 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 on just the whole picture which was the same picture in 2019 but that didn't Ooh, yeah oh well, it didn't happen for 20 so we, uh, yep. yeah yeah <laughs> Long time coming. Yeah. I'm going to challenge um, you, though, not to put your vision board where others can't yeah. see it. Ooh. <laughs> I think I should put it out in the open. It becomes a much more of a commitment then. Yes, it's almost like accountability, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's Kate's face saying, lady? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not, out. Not, quite, not quite fear, but apprehension, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> She's well, smiling and well, nodding I mean, and going, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and it's funny because it's it's only embarrassing to me. Like my last year's vision board, it's got a picture of me trying to do a pull-up. Okay. Because yeah. strength building was on my list for last year and at the time I drew that I'd never been inside a gym mm. ever and it scared the shit out of me right so that putting that image of myself was quite vulnerable or it felt very vulnerable and if if my housemates had seen it or something or you know somebody who happened to chance upon it coming into my home going do you go to the gym? I'd be like, oh, no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not <laughs> yet would months. be the answer. <laughs> yes. It took me six months to get into a gym and now I can do a pull-up. So. <laughs> but you could have just said yes. I I gym. Gym. It may I not go. be for six months, but yes, I go to a gym. <laughs> In a parallel universe, I go to the gym. <laughs> can I share? I know you're talking about your screen saver and – and I understand what you're saying, Kate, because when I show you this picture on my phone, some may think, oh, how conceited. However, I look at this every time I pick up my phone and I know this is what I'm heading back to. Hey. What is it? Can you see that? <laughs> It's a photo of Jan looking super sexy in a gym outfit and the body yeah. is looking awesome. So Ooh, I'd say this is, your, this is your winning body, Jan. That is me. That was, um, I think I was my strongest and leanest ever in my life in that photo. And I was, nice. I was 50 and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's, that's my focus every single day. Mm -hmm. through what I'm doing with my nutrition and my training. So that's what I'm heading back to again. Yeah. Nice. So I, yeah. I get it. And sometimes I find myself going, oh, I have that on there because that's my goal. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, why do I even say that? Like it's none of anyone else's business. No, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Well, if you can take that approach, then that's fabulous. But I guess my only caveat would be if it's going to stop you putting something on your vision board because it's going to be for all to see. Yep then hide it. If you if you have to hide it to put something on there, yeah. then hide it. Otherwise, put everything on there and put it out in the open for the yeah. accountability, like Janine says. Yeah. But, yeah, if it's going to stop you from something. I'll imagine a little flip in your envelope. <laughs> I was going to say, I can imagine a little flip envelope, you know, that for the one thing you don't want people to see. Oh, that yeah. Nice That's a nice idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> the private ones. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't yeah. open this written all over it or else. Remember, you Not get used safe to say to your brother or sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's going to happen. Uh, it, that, that's great. Narelle, oh, and your, your, your tip with the sound, because I, you know, it's harder for you to, to have a vision. Right. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. how do you create it? So I would don't. it be more of an audio board then? Not just it would have to be audio, music, yeah. But with, with, with everything, you know, going, uh, my, you know, as you said, people talking Italian. Yeah. This is my, you know, mm. my trip to Italy. And yeah. Um, do you speak Italian at all? Pasta, pasta. <laughs> Vino. <laughs> Oops. Ciao. Ciao, baby. Uh, <laughs> but the most important words that I learned when I was in Italy and going into the hotels was dua coscini. Which is? Cushini, I, I, feel, I got the two bit, but the rest I don't see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pillows. That was everywhere oh, because yeah. they were the worst two pillows. Two pillows, the right. Pillows. That's I, the word, <laughs> well, the word I used last time everywhere was scoozy. 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 Because <laughs> I'd, I'd hit someone with my cane that go. Goosey? <laughs> I love it. Um, so I, I could really see that as a, I could see that as an audio. Well, I could hear it as an, as an audio board for yeah, you. Yeah. So ten ten new clients can... this year. Yoo-hoo! Or yeah. how I think we Actually, that's them. true. That's a really good <laughs> just record it myself, yeah. Yeah. And I actually when I log on that does a, a a video each quarter. That's what their their board is, is they yeah. create a video and they put you know, they, they actually create it as a, a movie almost. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so what we're saying is, yeah, you can do it. You don't have to do it on paper. Do no. it, whatever works for you. And yeah. if you're a really good drawer like Kate, you can, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Kate's, Kate's the exception in this group. <laughs> yeah. Stick figures count. Stick figures are fine. <laughs> Uh, that's that's excellent. I love it, and that really just the, in whatever you do, do it. Mm. Whatever works for you, do it. Mm. This is again. I don't know why we wait till January. It just seems like oh, the year's ahead of us. Let's go for it. Yeah. And, but I think yeah, just it's do just it. a pivotal point, isn't it? Just to reset. It's like you know when we go on our holidays, um, we got to take two and a half weeks off. Oh my gosh, you will be so proud of me. I did not work. Hang on, I'll take that back. Over the whole <laughs> two and a half weeks, I think I did a total of one day worth of work the whole time. Good job. Good work. So, yeah, so it was like a really great break to refresh, reset and look forward to the new year with new goals. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Kate. That was great sharing and great sharing with everybody. Also, I think there's some terrific ideas and, and ensuring that you, like anything, you know, you can get ideas, you can get knowledge unless you take action. That's all it is. It just sits there without yeah. really achieving any mm -hmm. results. Then that's another conversation with the Morning Team Marketing Misses. Remember to check the show notes. You'll find contact details for all of us. Go and visit us on YouTube. Find us on all the socials and say hi Love to hear your comments. Love to know what you've done to create your vision board. Have a fantastic 2024. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.